Well, it's about time. Let's begin. You know, I don't know about you, but I do find it quite strange that after coming in when Liz Truss and Quasi Quentin, or whatever his name is, her chancellor at the time, put out their budget or plan for growth, Jeremy Hunt come in saying, no, 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 I'm going to cut all these things. And now, very strangely, in an election year, Jeremy Hunt comes along and appears to have done another U-turn. If this article is anything to go by, because it says that Jeremy Hunt declares he is ready to cut taxes and bet on growth, which obviously, as I said earlier, Liz Truss was apparently trying to do herself, although admittedly I will say that her delivery of it was just to say a bit pants, eh? Apparently he's ready to do this now because it says that the UK's gross domestic product, GDP, grew again in February and the GDP was estimated to rise 0.1% in February according to figures from the ONS or the Office for National Statistics. But this previous estimate for January was also revised from 0.2% to 0.3%. And writing in the Daily Express, the Chancellor said Britain has done the hard yards and the economy is bouncing back. Well, I don't know about you, but quite often it seemed that over the last couple of years, while the man-man overseas wants to take over places, Tesco's and Asda, whoever else, just seems to rub their hands with glee whenever we walk through the door, because let's face it, their prices seem to be going up and down more than what someone like Katie Price's knickers do. But either way, hopefully, hopefully, the P-take and price rises are indeed coming to an end, because apparently the positive economic data we've been seeing recently shows that Britain is back in business, Mr Hunt apparently said. Already Already the progress that we have made has meant I've been able to cut taxes, rewarding work and helping get more people into employment. Well, it's a pity, Jeremy, you couldn't have actually given us a bit of a helping hand much sooner. And I'm not talking about your national insurance cuts or whatever. I'm talking about actually raising the tax allowance and getting us out of this fiscal drag. Hopefully that is what he's going to do. Just got a feeling that it isn't. The ONS Director of Economic Statistics, Liz McCohen, I hope I pronounced that right, said widespread growth in manufacturing, particularly in the motor sector helps spur the economic growth. Services also grew a little bit with public transport and haulage and telecommunications having strong months, she said. Particularly offset in this were notable falls of construction as the wet weather hampered many building projects. Well, where's Michael Fish when you need him, eh? But you know, don't worry, because apparently that's not it. Mr. Cunt, <coughs> oh, a bit of cough there, added that the inflation in Britain has fallen from over 11% to wait for this, 3.4 and said that the economists at the Bank of England expect it to fall to 2% next month. And I have cut national insurance by a third, he says, from 12% to 8%. That means £900 in the pocket of someone on the average salary. But I will go further. Cut on taxes to hold back growth. Advanced economies with lower taxes are generally seen higher growth over the last decade or so. Which, if that is indeed the case... He should have really cut taxes much sooner, surely, thereby giving people more money in their pockets. You mean that we could go out and buy more things and boost the economy, but I guess they don't really like that logic too much. I mean, obviously I could be wrong, but I'm guessing that is indeed the case. And on Friday, get this, Labour's shadow chancellor Rachel Reeves says, After 14 years of conservative economic failure, Britain is worse off with low growth and high taxes. Well, Labour, they're hardly ones to talk, and I'm guessing in about four or five years' time, when unfortunately they will more than likely be in power for a few years, I'm guessing they'll see that reflection in them as well, eh? Obviously, quite strangely, Mr Hunt has unfortunately left out what taxes he is going to cut. Is it going to be the taxes on our wages? Will he increase the tax allowance threshold and release us from this fiscal drag? I mean, he could do either one of these or all of them, but something tells me he's going to leave that for a little bit longer and put it in the Tory manifesto for the next general election, which obviously, let's face it, is going to happen at some point this year. Whether it is June or July has been rumoured, or November, we'll just have to wait and see, won't we? I think, personally, it all depends how the Conservatives actually do in the May elections. Which, you know, I could be wrong, but my crystal ball, I don't know if it's a left or right one, has told me that that exactly won't be too well, eh? Thank you.